The study looked at the effects of patterns of alcohol consumption on the development of vascular disease in a mouse model and we looked at moderate versus daily moderate versus weekend binge drinking. So we gave the animals the same amount of alcohol over the week but in a different pattern and we found that with the moderate drinking there was a decrease in heart disease and with the binge drinking there was actually an increase so the patterns had opposite effects. In conjunction with the increase in development of vascular disease in the different groups of mice we also find differences in the cholesterol levels. Uh, interestingly in the moderate drinking mice we actually saw a decrease in LDL which is the bad cholesterol and however in the binge drinking group there was actually an increase in LDL uh, which can may have contributed to the development of heart disease. So the moderate drinking mice received the equivalent of two drinks per day seven days a week and the weekend binge drinking mice actually received seven drinks per day two days of the week. Another interesting thing we saw between the two groups was that even though they received the same weekly amount of alcohol and actually had the same amount of food, the binge drinking mice gained three times as much weight as the moderate drinking mice. While there's been a considerable amount of research investigating the effects of patterns of alcohol consumption on the development of heart disease, one thing that makes our study different is that it's actually evidence-based. Most of the previous studies have looked at populations where individuals self-report the amount of alcohol consumed and this isn't always considered to be reliable because sometimes they don't remember how much they consumed or they don't always tell the exact amount. Another difference is that we have eliminated any environmental factors which may influence heart disease. In these population-based studies, other factors such as diet, smoking, exercise may influence the development of heart disease, whereas in our study it was a controlled environment where we knew exactly how much the mice were eating and how much they were drinking, so it was a little bit more accurate. There was actually a recent population study which looked at men in France and Northern Ireland and they found that the men in France were more moderate drinkers and drank throughout the week and the men in Northern Ireland actually were more inclined to drink at the weekend and they actually found that there was a difference between these two populations and an increase in heart disease in the men from Belfast where actually there was a decrease in the men in France. So our study further reinforces you know, this population study and provides a, a message to suggest that pattern of alcohol consumption should be taken into consideration as well as the weekly volume.